So I'm starting off with the first card, which is in the first house for you, Pisces. And the energy coming in for you is the Queen of Swords. She is an air sign energy, Aries, sorry, Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So it could be a male or a female, as it is a generalized reading. So this may be a person that could be on your mind right here, right now. The first house represents your image, how others perceive you. So this energy could literally be about yourself, Pisces, in the sense of being quite um, honest, quite upfront with people and being quite responsible. You may be giving off the air of responsibility and confidence, quiet confidence. It's not normally a Pisces um, characteristic, but in saying that, um, in this month you are giving off the vibe of great confidence and also speaking a few home truths to some people. Being the image sign, it's more about air of confidence. Moving on now to the second house, Pisces, we have the energy of the King of Coins. So the King of Coins is an earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn. The second house is of value, earned income and also material possessions. So it's interesting that he is turned or turned up or appeared in the second house, which is to do with the coins, as he is the King of Coins. This could be male or female Pisces, again, like I said at the beginning, a generalised reading. So this could be a person that could be giving you some advice, could be a support of some kind in regards to your income, finances, or even material possessions. So be on the lookout for an earth sign energy in regards to a Taurus, a Capricorn, or a Virgo. This is more of a mature energy than a youthful energy. So that might give away a few clues to some Pisces out there. It is also an energy where you may be taking more responsibility. You may be organising your money uh, more so in the month of March, Pisces. The third house is all about communications on a local level and also any dealings with siblings and day-to-day -day communications. So this could be in the neighbourhood, community or even within your own household, Pisces. Interesting, you have turned up in the reading in regards to the Queen of Cups, which is a water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. But I feel Cancer, uh, not Cancer, I do feel for Pisces, apologies Pisces, there could even be, for Pisces, a Cancer energy turning up in your life in the month of March. But more so with communications, I feel that you could be intuitive. Very, You could be very intuitive in the month of March. You may be intuiting a lot of things with communications that you have with others in your life. You may be the one that could be, for some Pisces out there, holding a few secrets. Or others around you could be holding a few secrets and you're picking up strongly with that. This could be a male or female energy for those that don't resonate with that energy that it's for Pisces. This could be a fellow water sign, even a fellow Piscean in your life. That could be quite um, the guidance for you in the month. She may be holding or he may be holding a few secrets from you in the sense of just keeping things close to the chest. It's not really a negative energy. I just feel that there is great insights coming from this person or great insights coming from you. Words of wisdom in the month of March in regards to anything local, any day-to-day -day communications going on in your life, and even siblings, between siblings, for those that do have siblings. Moving on now to the fourth house of home and family. Beautiful Pisces, we've got the Four of Wands. So there is a celebration around the home arena in the month of March. It could be for birthdays, Pisces, or this could be building foundations. This could be even purchasing a home. This could be building um, a home. This literally could be just a celebration with family. This could be for some Pisces out there. This could be um, a commitment um, in the sense of an engagement or even a marriage for some Pisces in the month of March. But this is solidifying foundations or starting new beginnings in regards to securing your foundations within a home environment, 
um, this could even be with family members. It may not be your case, in your case, Pisces. The next energy coming up for Pisces is the fifth house, which is all about creativity. It's all about fun, romance, and also pleasure, and also generally the house of creativity. So we've got the five of wands sitting in the house of the fifth house, Pisces. So it's looking like there could be a few conflicts going on, or um, not a lot of people are playing in a team environment. Uh, so to speak, Pisces, you may be finding that you could be having a few ups and downs in regards to social gatherings or anything to do with children in your life or anything to do with romantic partners or anything that you're trying to uh, create in your life. You may not be um, gaining a lot of support or needing to really make others see where you are coming from in regards to any form of creativity. <clears throat> Excuse me, Pisces. Five is a very changeable energy, so this may not be permanent. This could be just a, an up and down phase in regards to creating anything or anything that you're having dealings with on a romantic level and also to do with any children around in your life. Any creative projects, you may be coming into conflict or challenges with others. I just keep getting people aren't being a team. Moving on now to the sixth house of day-to-day -day routines, work routines, home routines, also health and well-being, and also small animals in your life, if there happen to be small animals in your life, Pisces. You've got the energy of the four of coins. It's normally a financial energy, but in saying that, it is keeping things close to your chest, keeping your securities close to, in check. Also, needing to save, needing to keep um, your head above water, I just got. But needing to keep things secure in regards to anything that is health-related, anything that is uh, a day-to-day -day routine, you may be finding that you, are, um, you may not be open. You may not be open-minded. Be aware of narrow-mindedness as well in your day-to-day -day routines, work domestic life and also in friendships even. With small animals, this could be the case of needing to save your pennies in regards to any vet visits or anything anything that could be cropping up with a health issue with a pet. But with the image on this card, I can't help but feel like there's a cunningness or a sneakiness. So be aware of how you wish to stay open-minded. Don't be too closed up with people. Don't try and do things all on your own. You need to share the load, so to speak, in any routine in the month of March. Moving on now to the seventh house of relationships, partnerships. This could be working or romantic partnerships or family partnerships, but you've got the energy of the two of coins. So there is definitely some balancing or weighing up the pros and cons within a relationship. It's almost like this could be of a financial nature, as we do have the coins. There could be some abundance coming more into your relationship, an abundance flow coming in in the month of March, or you may be finding that you're really needing to balance your partnership with everything else going on in your life. So there could be a lot of weighing up of things. You may be wanting to save your pennies in regards to doing anything um, within a relationship, like having time out, a holiday even. But this is balancing up uh, balancing up your finances in regards to a relationship in your life in the month of March, Pisces. The next energy coming up for you is the 8th house, which is all about other people's resources. This is also to do with transformation in a big way. It's ruled by the son of uh, Scorpio, Pisces. So this is the page of coins. It's normally an energy of messages. So you may be hearing of a job prospect. You may be hearing of money coming your way in the form of an inheritance or any insurance or anything um, that has to do with a partner in your life, with their money, their finances, their security. You may also be hearing of um, abundance coming your way in the sense of that could be transforming your life in some way, shape or form. So it's almost like 
the prosperity coming towards you will be coming from another another source, so to speak. So you don't have to do it all alone. Pisces in the month of March. The next area of life is the ninth house, Pisces, which is all about higher learning of the educational kind or spiritual kind, long distance travel even. Spirituality. But we've got the energy of the emperor coming in for you in the ninth house, Pisces, in the month of March. So this is a need to either be more mature or responsible in your belief system, belief systems, or to be mature in the sense of your learning in life, learning lessons on a spiritual level as well as educational. You may be moving up to the next level. You may be a mature person wanting to go back into learning, some form of learning platform. Also, too, this is an energy of stubbornness as well. So be aware of your stubbornness, be aware of selfishness in regards to what you're wanting to learn, how you're w w willing to learn, and anything involved in um, doing something on your own to further yourself. Try not to do it out of selfish reasons. Try and do it to sort of, um, from the heart, do it from the heart more so than on a logical and self-serving um reason it can also mean an older male in your life you may be finding that through an older male in your life they are giving you lessons or you're learning life lessons through an older male in your life this older male could possibly live at a long distance you may be dealing with a foreigner or you may be just dealing with someone that lives far away but this is all about responsibility. Where are you needing to take responsibility in regards to your life lessons, um, your educational pursuits, learning more to upskill, and also dealing with people in your life? There is an ear or a need to be more mature. This could even be for some Pisces out there dealing with a father figure in your life, a father figure that may have lived at a distance and may have um, lived their life for selfish reasons, for some, only for some Pisces out there. The next area of life is the 10th house of work and career, your status in the outside world, the wider world, also authority figures. Well, on the work and career front, uh, Pisces, you've got the Three of Cups. So you're in for some social times or social gatherings. You're in... Um, in a very positive uh, time frame for having lots of social activities. You could be celebrating a birthday. You could be celebrating a promotion even. You could be celebrating a new job with those that are near and dear to you. You may be finding that you could be working in the entertainment industry as well in the month of March. Some people could be moving into a new <clears throat> job arena that they never thought they could go in. But this is an energy of celebrating. So you are doing this with others more so than just doing this on your own. It seems to be a running theme that I'm picking up with Pisces in the month of March is you don't have to do it on your own Pisces. So in work and career, it's almost like you either work in the entertainment business or you are celebrating something quite special in the month of March with those that are near and dear to you. And it's something related to work, a job or a promotion something of that kind. When it comes to life purpose, you may be finding that entertaining people um, could be a gift that you never thought you had for some Pisces out there. Musicians, you could have quite a musical talent for some Pisces out there. Music could be um, the highlight or the running theme in regards to work or career direction or even life purpose. You may be needing to listen to more music in your life. But with the Three of Cups here, this is an emotional union or um, a reunion even for some Pisces out there. The next area of life is the 11th house of hopes, dreams and wishes. Large organisations, if you happen to work for any, and also, also hopes, dreams and wishes, Michelle. So we've got the Eight of Swords, Pisces. So what are we overanalyzing? What are we 
confusing ourselves over because the Eight of Swords is all about feeling entangled with your mind and your thoughts. So when it comes to hopes, dreams and wishes, are you thinking too much about it? Are you overthinking? Are you getting yourself confused about what what you want to do with the rest of your life? With friendships, you may be finding that you're in a bit of entanglement with some friendships in your life. With any large organisations you may happen to work for, for some Pisces that do, you may be finding that you are becoming overwhelmed with all the mental activity in, within a job or feeling like um, you just don't know what to do in the sense of your thoughts and um, how you think and what you're meant to think in a job, in a job arena, Pisces. This is something that has been self-created, so just be aware of your thoughts, Pisces. And the last card to come out for you in the 12th house, which is the house of completion, it is ruled by your sign, Pisces. We have the king of swords, which is an air sign energy. It could be a person, male or female, as it is a generalized reading. We could be looking at a Gemini, Aquarian or a Libra. This is usually a person in authority or quite a very successful and um, authoritative person within their own right. This could even be the energy that you may be giving off in the month of March, Pisces. So the house of completion, the house of karma, you may be finding that you may be learning um, how to be your own authority or learning how to, um, the art of leadership within a working role or within a family or with anything in your life, learning how to be the leader or learning how to work with others. There is an air of responsibility that you may have felt on your shoulders for quite some time or you're starting to feel that there are a lot of responsibilities placed on your shoulder. But the King of Swords in the 12th house, it could also be a part of you. It could be a shadow side of you that you aren't quite dealing with in the sense of, there is a good side and a bad side to all of us. So you may need to touch base more with your darker side in the month of March in the sense of um, the aspects of yourself that you are not quite liking or avoid. Because there is an air of needing to work with others, needing to blend in with others in the month of March for Pisces. And I keep getting, like I said before, you don't have to do it on your own. Although this is an authority type energy, you may be finding that you are an authority within your own right and it may be time to let others take the reins or, or be more supportive or take more responsibilities other than just you. Interesting reading Pisces. Moving on now to the Oracle message for the month of March for all Pisces out there. And again, thank you so much for being uh, patience patient with the readings i'm sorry that it, that aquarius and pisces kind of missed out when i was doing my readings but the uploading process with my readings um does take quite a long time so i was starting to go into the evening hours so i needed a bit of a break and it just so happens i have a day off today from work so i'm catching up with aquarius and pisces so what is the message for pisces in the month of March. Interesting, Pisces. I'll show you the image and then I will read out the meaning. So you have number eight, which is all about responsibility and hard, um, not so much hard, but trial and error. So we'll just see what the meaning entails with this image, Pisces. So I will look in my book, look for number eight. Okay, interesting Pisces. I'll hold the card back up. So the meaning. Goals, dedication and process. So goals, dedication, process. In a larger metaphysical sense, our journey through life is said to be full of transformation from an imperfect, corruptible state towards a perfect, healthy and everlasting state. What does not kill us makes us stronger. Thus, painful or difficult changes that we endure can, in theory, burnish, burnish us in a spiritual sense to a high golden shine. We can also seek out knowledge, opportunity and challenge. 
it is not necessary to merely allow life to happen to us. This card is a reminder to stay focused on the goal and to continually apply the required self-discipline. It will all be worth it in the end. Well, there you go, Pisces, responsibilities. It may not be a big, uh, a big, it's not really a Piscean thing to be responsible in the sense of being the most organized sign in the zodiac. But when you've got Virgo, your opposite sign, being very highly organized, you may be finding a few of your shadow traits coming out in the month of March, almost like your Virgo traits. And if you know any Virgos in your life, Pisces, you will know exactly what I mean. <laughs> 